The sound of laughter and creaky wood accompanied a giant wooden seesaw and a wall littered with cards. The men of Tau Kappa Epsilon fraternity seesawed for over 100 consecutive hours in the Carleton University atrium. They raised about $2,900 in campus-wide awareness for Phoebe Rose, a two-year-old girl from Ottawa who has been battling leukemia almost her whole life. And Phoebe herself is, is such a joy. She really is just like a regular little two-and-a-half-year-old. You wouldn't know that she was sick at all because she's, she runs around, she loves to dance, you know, and play with her big sister and her cousins. Teak Saw began last year as a fundraiser to help underprivileged children attend Christy Lake Camp's summer sessions. However, fraternity's president Sean Finn said he decided to change the cause after watching a CTV story on Phoebe Rose. Uh, we adopted a new project that was locally based. So uh, somebody like Phoebe, who's has this family struggling. What is the general reaction of the surrounding community and by Carleton students to this fundraiser? Of course, it's for, it's for a little girl. She's two years old. Um, I think all of our hearts go out to the family, and we, uh, we want to be able to contribute as much as we want. So I think the whole community has come together to uh, truly really build up funds to be able to give to this family and help them through these times. Teaksaw was promoted beyond the Carleton campus because the fraternity streamed the entire duration of the Seesaw Marathon online. Upon hearing about the event, Ottawa Mayor Jim Watson visited to participate. I think uh, it's great when young people at schools, whether it's Carleton or, or other schools, get involved in philanthropic activities because uh, we need to ingrain that sense of responsibility in young people. At the conclusion of the last hour, the Teaks celebrated their endurance through a week-long seesaw ride while recognizing P.V. Rose's perseverance. Sam Corey, CJTV.